Hi, I'm Alex Archbull. I've been buying and selling antiques since I was a kid. Over the years, generations of our family have gotten involved in the business, and I'll search just about anywhere I can to find hidden treasures both big and small. I never know what I'll turn up next. It's about exploring new places, seeing new sights, and having fun. And even though sometimes I get over my head, we try and make things a little better along the way. This is Curiosity Inc. Hey, good morning, everybody. I have found myself in the town of Red Deer, Alberta. I shouldn't say town, it's a city. Um, in the city of Red Deer, Alberta, which sits halfway between my home, which is in Edmonton and Calgary, Alberta. Uh, I'm out here to meet some people for some other reasons, but I had some time to kill and I thought, why not go inside the local value village and see if there's anything that might be worth picking up. Um, I have um, donated a ton of stuff here over the years. And I know I donated some good stuff, and I'm sure other people have too, so I'm optimistic maybe there'll be something. So let's go on in, see what we can find. In our neck of the woods anyway, they always seem to take over these old grocery stores and turn them into the thrift shops. But that means this is gonna be a big one, so let's go in. Well, it looks like they've got their glassware in this area, at least organized by color. I am looking to see if there's any uranium glass or Vaseline ware, which I don't see any. We'll go down a less busy walkway. Usually the first place I check out are the areas where they have things that they think are collectible, which would be the next aisle over. Because uh, stuff that might seem obvious to them. We've got some home decor in here happening. Oh, look at this little tin wind-up Boba Fett. I think we used to sell these at our store. Unfortunately, he's been stepped on. They're still asking five bucks for him. I guess if you really wanted to, you could get in there and pop those dents out but that's neither old nor really collectible in that shape so we'll keep on looking oh this looks like one of those 1950s ballerina kind of wall hangings chalkware so this is their little section of stuff they thought was a little bit more cool i guess you know the retro tin kind of looking lunch kits it looks like a beer caddy. It says thieves on the side, probably from a brewery. But I'm hoping there might be some little collectible here that has been overlooked. I'm gonna keep browsing around and see if I can just find something that's super neat. Of course, it wouldn't be a trip to a thrift store without having a look to see what they have for old Pyrex dishes. It's just sort of your basic white got the lid which is good I'll set that there for now have a look at the bottom that is a fire king but you know four dollars for a nice vintage fire king dish that's not too bad a little casserole dish like that it's always good to have a look at the teapots that are here too this one looks silver but if you go and look at the bottom i don't know if you guys can see it it says ep um, which means electroplated, so that's not a solid silver, but it's worthwhile looking because I have actually come across solid silver teapots in the past, and you just never know when one's going to be put out on the shelf. This is Hutton and Sons Improved Metal Silver Plates. A little English made, but, uh, you know, if that was real silver, that'd be a heck of a lot more than $12.99 worth of silver. As I sort of wander about and check whether there's anything super good here um you know you see some little milk bottles and things like that there is a henkel's knife block set for 20 bucks that if i didn't have one of these that's actually probably would have been you know 150 200 something like that it's the single if you see the two little guys that's a little bit better than the single is but still 20 bucks for henkel sets not terrible I've sauntered on down to the toy department here because I'm kind of hoping that maybe something from my generation, like a 1980s toy, you know, Transformers or Hot Wheels or things like that, um, might be in the mix here. And, uh, you know, certain things like that are real easy to sell, you know, old remote control cars and stuff. So um, we'll have a little look-see. That's why I'm wandering in this area. Um, Again, sometimes there's things that can really be overlooked. But so far, this looks like a lot of newer stuff, more of my kids' generation than anything. Um, as my kids get older, I guess I realize that's coming up on being a couple decades old now too. So 
the odds of finding older stuff becomes a little less and less, but uh, never fear, there's still showcases to look at. I wonder if they have tiny little footprints around here at night because it looks like you've got some mischievous Toy Story characters in here. Um, original Buzz Light Ears, I mean, they made so many of these things, but you know, $8 for Buzz Light Ear isn't bad. And you got the uh, pole string Woody for five bucks. That's fair. And those are future collectibles for sure. And I think they're actually coming up with another Toy Story movie soon here too. We'll look in little Hot Wheel bags, see if there's any older toy cars in there. Lego, another thing to keep your eye on. And uh, real Lego that is, which this is. That's um, from the Friends series, a sort of girl-oriented Lego. Um, but certain little minifigures can be worth um, a pile of money. There's one in there right there. But um, yeah, if you get the right minifigure, it could make the whole bag worthwhile. And that's $6 for that. I might just pick that up because it's got figures inside of it. Next stop, we'll kind of check out the menswear. Sometimes you get... Um, like hockey jerseys or band, like old concert t-shirts can be pretty collectible. So if you find like, you know, an old Grateful Dead t-shirt or something like that, it could be worth hundreds of dollars. So it's definitely worth going through and having a look in the clothing area. For me, I always like to look in the leather jacket section, see if there's any old motorcycle jackets. Let me see if I can track that down. Well, I was able to find a couple motorcycle jackets, albeit not all that old, but you know, 20 bucks, it's not, not terrible if you actually don't want to fall down and if you want to not hurt yourself. <laughs> but I was hoping for like, you know, a 1950s, you know, like the, something the Fonz would wear. And I have been lucky enough to find some of those at shops like this in the past. So never hurts to have a look because uh, the day that you don't is probably the day it's going to be there. All right, this seems kind of out of place over here. Over underneath the coat rack, somebody has put this little case marked at three dollars and 49 cents and it's awfully heavy let's see what's inside of it okay it's a singer sewing machine for three bucks i am not going to walk away from that well grand total today was 25 dollars and 68 cents and for that, I got a uh, actually really nice uh, portable Singer sewing machine. It's not a featherweight, but it's um, still a really cool piece. I don't think they, I think that was hidden there. I think somebody was going to come back for it later, but lucky for me, I was in the right place at the right time. Um, I got all these little bags of Lego. And you can see, obviously, somebody had the Christmas sets. There's the Lego Santa Claus in there. But there's a superhero cape. And... Um, as I was looking through, there's Spider-Man, there's Batman and stuff, and some of those figures can be $10, $20 a piece. Um, so, again, nice uh, nice find. See, there's a little Spider-Man right there. Any superhero sort of branded stuff is really good. So I think, overall, a really good haul today. So now, just to get myself home um, and go through these bags of Lego and see what there is, we do have a, a pretty mighty Lego collection uh, of our own that we do... Uh, I'd like to say the kids and I build with. It's migrated down to me now. <laughs> but around the holidays, we like to bring the Lego buckets out. So I'll add the extra Lego to that. But uh, let's get ourselves home. We'll dig through the bags and see exactly what came out of there. Okay, I am home now. Put my three big bags of Lego down. Lego isn't cheap. I mean, even if this was at the store, this probably would have been about 70 or $80 worth of Lego as it is. Oh, I've got a little tear in the bag. Hopefully I didn't lose much out of there. Uh, before we get into the Lego, let's have a look at this sewing machine that I got. Crack that open again, $3.49 for this. That's about as cheap as you could get for a sewing machine. And um, this um, might've been so cheap because maybe there's, oh no, I was gonna say maybe there's no power cable, but it's actually in there. Let's see if I can take this all the way out. Yeah, there's there's the cable. So I'm curious to see if this actually works. We'll get this set up and see if it's a functioning sewing machine. Um, even had thread ready to go here. It's just come off a little bit. All right, I've got everything plugged in. And we'll see if anything happens foot switch. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. Nothing there. Probably an on switch on this thing somewhere. 
Don't ask me if I know how to use a sewing machine. I might have to enlist Melissa to come over and see if we can figure this thing out. Okay, apparently I wasn't pushing down this thing proper, but look, not only is it working, it seems to be working just great. So this, um, gosh, I could probably look up the serial number, but I'm gonna say this is probably like late 40s, early 50s Singer portable sewing machine is working fantastic. So what a great score for three bucks. These are really good sewing machines. They probably use this as an actual sewing machine. <laughs> um, and as for the Lego, well, let me get a little tray we can dump this in and we'll see what we're working with here. Look at all this good stuff in here. Window panels, those are handy. I'm always looking for neat stuff because I do like to build mainly buildings, little houses and architectural kind of buildings. So we'll see what there is. Gosh, well, seeing it all mounted like this, it's actually a lot more Lego than I expected. I don't know what this would have been part of originally. It looks like some kind of spaceship of some kind, but um, surprisingly, if you go into antique malls and stuff now, you'll see that they sell little Lego figures individually, five, 10, 15, $20 each. It's not uncommon to see. And um, there are a lot of collectors for that stuff, which is why um, even though um, some of these parts and pieces I will use for myself. Oh, look, it's a Spider-Man with little stubby Spider-Man legs. It must be like junior Spider-Man. Um, that there is value in these figures. And so like 25 bucks or whatever I paid for everything. We got a working sewing machine. We've got all this Lego here, which of course we can use as Lego, but uh, even better than that. There's some good resellable minifigures in here. When I start adding them all together and figure out uh, what sets these are from, you know, you could be looking at uh, close to $80 just in little Lego figures and stuff like this, Iron Man's helmet. That means there's probably an Iron Man in here. Those are the more collectible, more desirable figures. So it looks like there's a little Star Wars. No, maybe that's not Star Wars. But it uh, looks like I did pretty well with the minifigures here. So pretty good score, I'd say, all the way around. Actually, it was a successful Value Village haul today. So in all, actually a pretty good haul. I wasn't even planning on stopping in there, but I did find some treasures. The working sewing machine, all this Lego, which is in front of me. And plus, there was a pile of actually really good and pretty desirable Lego minifigures. So um, I'm pretty pleased. $25 investment that will turn into uh, probably over $100 or more worth of uh, resale value. But honestly, the Lego stuff's going to stick with us to be built into future things. So guys, I hope you liked following along on today's adventure um, as I did a little thrifting and a little shopping. And I'm pretty pleased with myself for my purchases today. So uh, stay active, go looking, see what you can find out there and um, stay tuned. Subscribe here if you haven't done that already too. And we'll see you guys all soon. And as always, Bye for now. Bye, everybody.